Wandaman is the commonly used name for an Austronesian language of Indonesian New Guinea, spoken across the neck of the Dobarai Peninsula or Bird's Head. However, several speakers of the Windesi dialect have stated that Wandaman and Wandama refer to a dialect spoken around the Wandaman Bay, studied by early missionaries and linguists from Sil. They affirm that the language as a whole is called Wamesa, the dialects of which are Wandaman, Windesi, and Bintuni. Phonology Vowels There are five contrastive vowels in Wandaman, as is typical of Austronesian languages. These vowels are shown in the tables below. Five diphthongs appear in Wandaman, O, I, A, Oi, and Ui. Two vowel and three vowel clusters are also common in Wandaman. Almost all VV clusters contain at least one high vowel, and no two non-high vowels may be adjacent in larger clusters. Consonants There are 14 consonants in Wandaman, three of which are marginal, shown in parentheses in the table below. Labial, coronal and velar places of articulation are contrastive in Wandaman. Coronal plosives sound relatively dental and may therefore be referred to as alveolar or alveodental until palatography can be executed to corroborate this. Lateral, L, and affricate, D, appear only in loanwords, while all other sounds occur in native Wandaman words. The voiced velar fricative per gram is a marginal phoneme because it only appears following. The coronal tap and trill are in free variation, though the trill tends to occur more in word initial or word final position and in careful speech. Place and manner contrasts as described above are supported by the minimal and near-minimal pairs found in the following table. Where possible, Wandaman words have been selected to show native non-loan phonemes in the environment, c labial a underscore a. Phonotactics Velar plosive g only appears following th, and th can only appear without a following g if it is stem initial. Glide phonotactics There are no underlying glides in Wandaman, j and w are allophones of the vowel phonemes i and u. This phonetic alternation is obligatory, permitted, or prohibited, depending upon environment. High vowels must become glides word initially preceding a vowel or intervocalically. They may optionally become glides when adjacent to a single vowel. Finally, high vowels never become glides between two consonants, depriving the syllable of a nucleus. Nor do glides appear word initially preceding a consonant or word finally following a consonant, in which case the syllable structure would be at odds with the sonority sequencing principle. Consonant cluster reduction Complex onsets and codas are not permitted in Wandaman, and consonant clusters across syllable boundaries are usually reduced, such that C1, C2, surfaces as C2. However, there are three exceptions to this, clusters of homorganic nasals and voiced plosives are permitted to surface, as are consonant glide clusters that form through the morphophonological processes described above. Additionally, an underlying cluster of a consonant followed by beta, r, or k does not reduce but surfaces as a nasal followed by a homorganic voiced plosive, both of which derive their place features from underlying c2. Data from related languages of the Yapan and Biakic groups suggests that historically, beta, r, and k were asterisk b asterisk d and asterisk g in Proto-Eastern Malayo-Polynesian. In this case, these phones would have formed a natural class of voiced plosives to which phonological rules could uniformly apply. Stress Wandaman has a three-syllable, right-aligned stress window, meaning that primary stress falls on the final, penultimate, or antepenultimate syllable of the word. However, the distribution is not even. In a random sampling test of 105 audio clips, 66 tokens had primary stress on the penultimate syllable. With the addition of enclitics, primary stress sometimes shifts towards the end of the word to stay within the stress window, but since Wandaman prefers its metrical feet to be trochies, stress usually jumps from the head of one foot to the next, rather than jumping single syllables. 
Secondary stresses are apparent in words of more than two syllables and, in cases of shifting stress, can be added at the beginnings of words to reduce lapses several adjacent syllables without any stress. In the example below, the addition of the enclitic determiner equals pi causes primary stress to shift to the right by two syllables, a single foot, and a secondary stress is added to the left in order to fill the lapse. Ma, ra, ri, a ma, ra, ri, a equals pi. Child, child equals debt. The child. However, secondary stress always precedes primary stress and clitics are never able to carry stress in wandaman. These two factors mean that the addition of multiple enclitics sometimes cause large lapses at the ends of words. For example, the construction below has a five-syllable lapse at the end. Ma, ne, ta equals pa ta, ta equals ma. Friend equals debt dash one pl dot inkle equals foc. We friends. This would appear to be a violation of the three-syllable stress window, but the fact that clitics never carry stress indicates that they may combine with their hosts at the level of the p phrase rather than at pward, where the stress window is relevant. Additionally, lapse is evaluated at the level of the pward, meaning that stress in the following word never shifts to compensate. That is to say, stress in a word following the above construction would never shift leftwards for the purpose of reducing the lapse between words. This is in contrast to clash, adjacent stressed syllables, which is evaluated at the level of the phonological phrase. Thus, to avoid clash, stress can shift within a word to compensate for the presence of a stressed syllable across a word boundary. For example, the word ka, too, small, typically has a stressed final syllable. However, when followed by ya acute dot na, there, as in the phrase below, stress within ka, two shifts to avoid two adjacent stressed syllables, less than pre greater than, slash pre greater than ma dot ra acute dot re, a ka, two ya acute dot na ma, ra, re, a ka, two ya acute dot na, child small there. Small child there. In summary, lapse avoidance can only occur at the level of word, while clash avoidance is relevant at the level of p-phrase. Orthography In much of the literature on wandaman an orthography is used which is based on the orthographic system of Indonesian. This orthography diverges from IPA notation in the following cases. Beta, is notated V. D is notated J. J is notated Y. T is notated in clusters of G, therefore appear as NGG. References <laughs>